We'll guide you through how to screen mirror your iPad to your Mac. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. Firstly, what you need to do is go and connect your iPad to your Mac. So th the cable you need for this will vary depending on what iPad you have, and you also may, may need an adapter for your Mac. However, my iPad is a USB-C iPad and my Mac has a USB-C port, so I can literally just go and use a USB-C to USB-C. But you may have an older iPad, which is a lightning cable. So you may need to go and use a USB-C to lightning cable or even just a USB to lightning cable and then an adapter. But it's pretty simple, just go and connect it. I've now connected my iPad to my Mac. You may go and get a pop-up saying something like, do you trust this Mac? On your iPad, just press allow. You need to allow it on both your Mac and your iPad if you get the pop-up for this to work. Once you've connected it though, then all you need to do is come onto your Mac and open up something called QuickTime Player. So come to the top right here and click on search and type it in. I've typed it in, so I'll go and press enter just like so. Here we are in QuickTime and then all you want to do is click on the QuickTime icon in the bottom right with two fingers and then click on new movie recording just here. Then it will take a moment to load and here's my camera. And what you need to do is go to the right of the recording icon and you need to tap on the arrow pointing down. Click there and then you've got a section called devices. And as you can see, we've got my iPad here or whatever your iPad's called. So go and click on it and it will take a moment. And then as you can see, we need to press on allow this accessory to connect. Once again, it'll load and there we go. As you can see, our iPad is now on our Mac. It's that simple guys. And so you could go and show photos, whatever you want to do with it. And that's it. If you found this guide useful, then please leave a like.